everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, all of it is under attack by Barack Obama. But the media won't tell you that or show you the story you're about to see. So you've got to watch this, and your friends and family members and fellow Americans do too. So pass this story along, then join the NRA, upgrade your membership, or donate. Let's all defend our freedoms this year. Thank you. It's a stealth operation. I mean, I used to say the UN complex, it was like going into the twilight zone. The majority of the countries that are members of the UN and who think the UN is just a wonderful entity, that it's something that we should listen to, they are not democracies. I'm sitting up there and I'm looking out and there I see the Sudan and I see Cuba and I see Syria and I'm thinking, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna come into our country and try to eliminate our constitutional right to own a firearm? Dream on. We Americans are not gonna let that happen. But the UN feels more empowered than ever to get its global arms trade treaty passed now that President Obama has dramatically reversed U.S. policy and signed on as a partner in the UN's mission to trample our firearm freedoms. The United States stands ready to begin a new chapter of international cooperation. Now, the UN remains the single most important global institution. I think that the president really sees himself as a citizen of the world. And a fellow citizen of the world. He would fit in very well as a leader of a European social democratic party. He doesn't believe in American exceptionalism. He clearly has no respect for the rule of law, our Constitution, our Bill of Rights, because he's constantly taking steps that have hurt American sovereignty. He sees in arms trade treaties a way to get around the American Congress when the American voters don't go the way he wants. And in that sense, I think he's post-American. Mr. Chairman, small arms and light weapons are truly weapons of mass destruction. And it's my firm conviction that the illicit trade cannot be tackled without involving the legal arms trade. Accountable to no one, the UN's definition of small arms is so broad, no one is immune. Not the manufacturers that make firearms or law-abiding citizens who own them for sport or self-defense. Absolutely no one is safe from the United Nations. They're looking at registration, tracing, marking systems. This goes all the way from tanks, ships, down to handguns. But the treaty can be a vehicle for even more anti-gun measures, and, it, and this is not going to stop. And when something is so broad, it, it creates a lot of opportunity for mischief. They claim that they want to stop small arms from going to terrorists and guerrilla groups. But this small arms treaty really isn't going to do anything to stop that. What you'll wind up with is gun control on an international level, specifically designed to be used against honest law-abiding people. But the UN isn't pushing its agenda alone. It's backed by powerful, well-financed NGOs, non-governmental organizations like IANSA, Oxfam, and Amnesty International that have made a living out of targeting the NRA and gun ownership as evil. They not only get the Soros money, they get money from the UK, from Sweden, tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. This is a very serious threat. A day will come when they finalize a treaty that will never go away. The dictatorships and the squalid tin-pot despots have just as much a say in the process as we do. And the National Rifle Association have gone before the United Nations and laid down the gauntlet and made it clear that our freedoms are not negotiable. Neither the United Nations nor any other foreign influence has the authority to meddle with the freedoms guaranteed by our Bill of Rights, endowed by our Creator, and due to all humankind. That message delivered by the NRA has been strongly supported by 58 U.S. Senators who sent this letter to President Obama and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, warning them that an arms trade treaty that in any way restricts the rights of law-abiding American gun owners would be dead on arrival. I hope as Americans we join together with a firm resolve that we are never gonna let that body infect our freedoms. 
That's one reason I think this election is so important. We've never had a president this radical. And I think that people see they're going to be uh, unrestrained in their ambitions in a second Obama term. Vigilance is the price of liberty, and that includes our gun liberty as well. This is the time for people to speak up because those freedoms are not guaranteed forever. Everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, all of it is under attack by Barack Obama. So pass this story along, then join the NRA. Upgrade your membership or donate. Let's all defend our freedoms this year. Thank you.